Hi friends, welcome to Programming Languages for Civil Engineering Students. In this video, I will discuss the design of cantilever type retaining wall. Okay? The, this software, this software, this application is developed by using Visual Basic 6. Okay? Any anyone who are interested in this Visual Basic 6, okay? You can, you can. You can uh, you can comment on the comment section. Then I will definitely post the uh, post uh, uh, how to create the applications by using this Visual Basic six. Okay. Anyway, let let me discuss this first. Uh, demonstrate this, uh, this cantilever design of cantilever type retaining wall. Okay. Then you can see here all dimensions in mm. Always use tab key to fill the data in text box. Okay. Let me. Grade of concrete, grade of concrete is 25 and uh, grade of steel is 500 and uh, soil density, okay, density of the soil that is 18. Then SBC of the soil, let us say 101 kilo newton per meter square. Then height, this is a height, you can see here the capital H, capital H is from here to here, okay, from here to here. You can see here from here to here the capital H. Okay, capital H is let us say six meters. Okay, let, uh, let us say six point five meters. Okay, then uh, coefficient of lateral earth pressure. Coefficient of lat uh, active lateral earth pressure is equal to zero point three three for thirty thirty angle thirty degree angle of uh, internal friction. Then similarly, uh, coefficient of lateral earth pressure. Uh, active earth pressure is equal to 0 0.33 for surcharge you can see here let us see if there are any any surcharge surcharge is nothing but any any soil above, above the uh, above the retain uh, above the infill of the above the infill then surcharge what is surcharge surcharge is what is uh, its uh, udl udl is kilo newton kilo, kilo newton per meter square that is 6 kilo newton per meter square and soil density soil density is obviously let us say 18 okay then you can see here assume assumed effective cover is 60 then assumed effective cover 2 is 85 whether uh, you can select effective cover you can see here effective cover at the bottom is 85 and effective cover at the uh, what you call uh, at the you can see here at uh, this retaining this uh, uh, stem is uh, you can see here 85 uh, 60 mm then assume depth of the toe this depth of the toe from here to here uh, it, it, it is 446.66 mm then assume the length of the toe length of the toe this is the toe length of the toe is 1.13 meters similarly assumed depth uh, depth of heel is also obviously uh, the depth of toe then assumed length of the hill the length of the hill from here to hill what is length 1.7196 always the 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 the, uh, the length of the hill is greater than length of the toe then assumed stem thickness stem thickness is nothing but this is the thickness of the stem the thickness of the stem is obviously it is also taken as uh, uh, 546.66 mm okay then assumed the coefficient of friction the coefficient of friction is 0 0.55 okay then this is the basic things about uh, uh, thing if you want uh, more information they can go for theory you can see this is all about theory okay uh, then uh, some basic information you can see here this is the retaining wall and uh, the infill the infill is making it an angle okay perhaps uh, everybody knows what is the angle of uh, uh, what is the coefficient of lateral earth pressure at rest condition in if the infill makes an inclined inclination like this okay perhaps everybody know this and uh, this is all about uh, uh, the, some theory okay then let us calculate let us calculate you can see here first uh, the calculation is check for stability against overturning everything is okay then I, everything is calculated here you can see here uh, uh, the design of uh, first design of toe slab okay uh, percentage of mean steel bar for toe is 2.23 this is the per percentage that per permissible shear in uh, newton per mm square is this is the uh, shear then uh, 
actual shear in mm okay moment acting against st steel okay what is amount of steel required at the bottom is uh, bottom of the toe, toe slab is 10329.24 mm square this much steel we have to provide at the uh, bottom of the top uh, per meter okay per meter we have to provide uh, this is all about calculations per meter okay then uh, design of heel slab okay design of heel slab you can see here the steel required is equal to uh, 20501.4641 mm square this much amount of steel we have to provide per meter uh, per meter along uh, uh, per meter in a heel portion heel portion then design of vertical stem okay all everything is calculated but we required amount of steel okay steel is uh, back face per meter this uh, you can see here this is face that the steel amount is also given 34699.907 mm square we have to provide per meter that amount of steel okay then obviously the distribution the distribution teal in for toe or heel the distribution teal the distribution steel in toe or heel is given as uh, uh, 554 mm square that for per meter you can calculate according to your uh, uh, according to your uh, diameter of the bar you can calculate the number of bars okay then similarly distribution steel in uh, mm square for stem per meter is 584 mm square okay this is all about uh, uh, the design of uh, cantilever uh, type retaining wall let us check our output what will happen to output Okay, maybe this is uh, output is not visible okay this is the our output you can see here this is our you can see here this is our output in this way we can create any number of we can create any number of applications by using this uh, 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 visual basic six okay anyway uh, if you have any doubts you can post you can post comments in the comment box anyway thank you for watching this video thank you